All right, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, coming to this debate. Um, well, you know, David has uh, mentioned a lot of arguments against Islam on his website, and uh, most of it I disagree with. I think it's a misrepresentation of what we believe. Um, but I was told to go first tonight, and so what I'm going to do, I'm actually making an affirmative case for why we believe in what, what we believe. But what we can do tonight is probably debate all of David Wood's issues and all of my issues all in one debate. It's just not going to happen. So I decided to talk about Surah 9, verse 29, and why this is one of the most, why seven reasons why this is the most magnificent verse in the Quran. Now, you know, David's on record as saying that Surah 9, verse 29 teaches violence against unbelievers. And um, I can understand how some Christians can get or, you know, non-believers uh, can get offended by that. Uh, you know, after all, I mean, well, I think when we even enter the topic of jihad and Islam, people make certain presuppositions before even opening up the Quran. Well, one of the most common presuppositions is that Christian, Christianity, is inherently a peaceful religion, which, which preaches love and tolerance for all. So when you read a verse like this, according to David, which teaches to, to fight against disbelievers, well, Islam looks aggressive, Islam looks violent. And you know, I actually looked up that verse, and I'd like to read for it to you, and let me tell you what it really says here. Um, it says, and fight those who believe, fight those who believe not in Allah in the last day. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. This must be some mistake here. I think this is just a typo, I think. Let, let, me, let me check it out. I actually have a Quran. Let me check it up on my Quran. This, this is obviously a typo. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. Hold on, let me see what it says over here. Uh, let me grab my little notes over here. This can't be. It says here, all right. David, it doesn't say that. It says, it says, fight those who, fight those who believe not in Allah in the last day. Hmm. Well, can we change the topic to what we all have in common? That's actually a much better topic, don't you think? I mean, actually, uh, because we do have a lot in common. Um, with a moderator, would that be okay? We could just change that topic? No, we're not all the topic. Fight those who believe not in Allah in the next day. Wait a second. 